All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And fellas, I am back from my vacation in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, I'm ready to give you guys a regular commentary, man. I do appreciate you guys watching those live comms, though. Had those things pre-uploaded. Uh, I really appreciate the views on those, man. Uh, got over 20,000 views. I know the live comms aren't for everybody here on this channel, but I appreciate those of you who viewed them anyway, man. But we're back with a regular commentary tonight. And I know this went down when I was in the DR a few days ago, but on September... No, what the hell? September, August. My bad, fellas. Damn, this old age. On August 14th. Two of the biggest pay-to-win, some pay-to-win weapons in the game. Oh, I love ragdoll and profits with this thing, man. Or at least I used to. But two of the biggest pay-to-win weapons in the game caught a nerf. The Stingray caught its fourth nerf. And it's a big old nerf. <laughs> the Stingray got a big old nerf. Hell yeah. Stingray got a big old nerf. Hell yeah. <laughs> Crossbow got a big old nerf. Hell yeah. So both these pay-to-win weapons got nerfed. Uh, pretty much into the ground at least the stingray did i'm not really sure about the crossbow haven't used a crossbow since the nerf and for all you guys wondering this is a stingray after its second round of nerfs this thing's been nerfed four times by the time i got to it it was already nerfed twice and it was op as hell as you're seeing right here on the screen this is after two nerfs it since then got nerfed two more times so after four nerfs haven't played with this weapon yet, but I'd have to imagine that after it's been nerfed four times, especially after this big old nerf, I'll put it up. Oh my god, get ragdolled, son! Y'all, I'm gonna miss the ragdoll animations with the Stingray Operator Mod Impact Blast. My beef isn't really with the Stingray. The Stingray weapon itself is alright. You know, it belongs in the game. My beef, my beef with this weapon is, and everyone's beef with this weapon, is the Operator Mod, the Impact Blast, which basically turns this weapon into One Man Army Noob Tube reincarnated you're just running around noob tubing people it's a better more accurate noob tube <laughs> that's what you're doing i mean look at this it's like yeah it's like i just knew I <laughs> you're running around noob tubing people man so let's put the nerf up on the screen fellas so here it is bam look at that s6 stingray reduce projectile speed increase delay between bursts ew reduce max damage reduce max damage range reduce headshot multiplier reduce ammo capacity operator mod longer burst delay time long barrel reduce damage range quick draw ew they reduce ads in bonus they gave it a slower sprint out speed rapid fire no longer improves projectile fire speed but still improves burst delay time yo they nerfed the hell out of it look at that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten nerfs this is the fourth time it's been nerfed and they nerfed 10 things about it damn son r.i.p <laughs> r.i.p the stingray but you know what fellas it did need to get nerfed bro I, I hate to say it also using the stingray with the scythe oh my goodness <laughs> this has got to be one of the most op setups in cod history man imagine the stingray operator mod impact blast before that nerf and the uh, reaper with the scythe oh and his shroud cheese which gives you extra score i mean this was one of the most op class setups ever i had to mute out z nutbusters uh well blackout z nutbusters player card fellas because he swore in it and y'all know how youtube is in 2019 man. so z nutbuster with profanity player card can only mean one thing that this dude is between the ages of 12 and 14 15 years old maybe maybe 16 but he's a youngster. I guarantee <laughs> Z Nutbuster. Uh, yeah, pretty young dude. I mean, if he could be a grown man, I don't know too many grown men that go by the name of Z Nutbuster. But, uh, well, Chief Keef. Chief Keef been busting a lot of, uh, you know, he got all them kids. Uh, anyway, we ain't here to talk about Chief Keef and all his kids, man. We're here to talk. Oh, my goodness. We're here to talk about this Impact Blast mod. And there's a lot of people on Twitter <laughs> crying that they got ripped off by Activision. Because, listen. Say you were one of these guys in this lobby getting bodied by me right now, getting destroyed by the Stingray Operator mod, just getting destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Like, these dudes getting tooted up, man, by the Stingray Operator mod. I mean, they don't have a chance. So say you just got slapped by me in this lobby, or anybody. You got slapped by the Stingray, like, yo, that weapon is pay to win. That weapon is OP as it gets. Look at me. Look at this dude. Z Nutbuster got busted. <laughs> I just busted down on Z Nutbuster. <laughs> Damn. Oh, look at this dude spawn trapping your boy. What? I see you. I see you spawn trapping. All right, whatever, man. So I caught a couple of ugly deaths right there. But say you got smacked by this pay-to-win weapon. Now you're like, yo, I'm going to go out to the black market and just buy reserves till I get it so I can do this to people because you know how overpowered it is. So there's people on social media that want a refund 
on their microtransactions because they got bodied by the Stingray Operator mod Impact Blast Cheese, and then they finally got it, and then it got nerfed into the ground. So, yeah, good luck <laughs> trying to ask Activision for a refund on microtransactions. Yo, good luck, man. <laughs> Good luck trying to get Activision to refund any type of supply drop money. I'm still waiting for my season pass refund, homie. Yeah, Z Nutbuster, get on, son. <laughs> Damn, you making me work this video, man, editing out your player card. This video will probably get demonetized just for saying Z Nutbuster. Damn, YouTube 2019, man. Damn. Anyway, guys, so that's the Stingray Operator mod. It got nerfed into the ground. What'd they do to the crossbow? The crossbow. Let's check this out. So the Reaver C86, reduced ADS speed. Reduced reload speed, reduced hip fire accuracy, titanium bolt, slightly reduced projectile speed bonus. Uh, yeah, yo, it needed to get nerfed, bro. If you guys missed my Reaver C86 crossbow gameplay, I will link that down in the description. Go check that out. It definitely needed to catch a nerf, man. That crossbow was not balanced at all. Uh, and listen, man, the, the pay to win weapons and the supply drops, a lot of people feel these weapons should not be nerfed because people go out and spend a ton of money to get these weapons and then when they finally get them they get nerfed into oblivion they're just or they're just vulnerable and ordinary mcondry style they're not op as hell listen i would have loved to have gotten this stingray before i caught no nerfs at all but remember, by the, this gameplay right here this this gun already been nerfed twice this is already two nerfs deep so imagine what this thing was like before i caught any nerfs so so listen uh, the guns are broken as hell at first, and that makes people spend a ton of money on the supply drops, and then they finally get the weapons, and then what do they do? They bait and switch, man. They get all your money, then they, oh, no, the gun's overpowered, we gotta nerf it. Hell no. We just, this dude's out here, look at T these knives only, spent $500 just to get the ballistic knives, and then like two days later, them just got nerfed. Now, I didn't see these knives only and his homie, uh, the unseeable ninja, they went out and spent a combined $1,300 on one weapon, and then a couple days later, that the ballistic knives got nerfed i didn't see them on twitter crying to activision yo i want my money back we just came out here and spent all this money and then you go and nerf our pay to win weapon the day later I, I didn't see that listen you guys know what you're getting involved with man when you buy supply drops there's no guarantee a weapon could be pay to win one day and nerfed into the ground the next so this should be a lesson to all you guys who are out there spending tons of money on supply me i got all this stuff for free if you guys want to see how I got the Stingray, I'll link that video down in the description, too. I got it out of a supply drop and the, and the uh, ballistic knives. I got all, every weapon I have, I got out of the supply drop. The only thing in this game that I paid for is a Vampire Hunter Mastercraft skin. And I wasn't gambling. I knew what I was paying for. I don't think they could nerf a skin in a game. And look at my man right here. Damn, just jump shot me with the scythe. Yo, opposite name. Shout out to opposite name, man. <laughs> this dude's a YouTuber I was playing against. He was going for a nuked out. I joined this game late, called up to him. I was like, yo, you want for a nuked out? I got the Stingray Operator mod, homie. That ain't happening, man. I mean, this weapon could turn any garbage player into an all-star, dude. Well, at least it used to. Not anymore. Well, you guys thinking you're going to get a refund on your supply drop money? Keep dreaming, son. There ain't no way that's happening, man. You guys already know. There's no guarantee on the box that this supply drop weapon's not going to get nerfed. There's no guarantee. <laughs> Hard lesson for all you guys out there. Went out and spent mad money trying to get the Stingray Operator mod and are now crying about it because it got nerfed into oblivion. It needed to get nerfed, dude. This thing was broken, okay? Running around with one-man army, noob tubes, just slapping people. It's broken. It was broken in MW2, and it was broken here. I don't know whose bright idea it was to put explosive brown, noob tube browns, operator mod <laughs> on this gun. They think stopping power is OP, though, but they'll put a uh, noob tube Operator mod on the gun. Okay, I mean, look at me ragdolling these sweats, dude. Just look at that. It needed to get nerfed, man. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? I'm fine with it getting nerfed in multiplayer because this gun's broken as hell. It probably made tons of people quit. I mean, the uh, the Stingray Operator mod and the crossbow have probably made tons of people quit playing this game. Like, oh, I'm not even going to bother playing. You can't even compete against these weapons. Well, the way they were. But this Stingray is so OP, it even caught a nerf in zombies, bro. I mean, look at this. In zombies, it caught a nerf. Reduce projectile speed, increase delay between bursts, reduce ammo capacity. Look at this operator mod. They even nerfed it in zombies. The same thing with the Reaver. When have you guys ever heard of a gun get nerfed in zombies? Even the zombies was complaining how OP this cheese is, man. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. Listen, I do agree that the Stingray operator mod needed to get nerfed. Uh, it probably should get taken out of the game, and that's what this nerf did. They pretty much made this weapon completely useless from everything I've heard online so far about the nerf. 
Yeah, honestly, fellas, this makes Activision look bad. This is a shady move, man. I mean, these weapons were OP as hell. The only thing more OP than these pay-to-win weapons is a damn Black Ops 4 loading screen. Look at this loading screen, bro. Nerf this thing next. Boy, you put these completely broken weapons in the game, get everybody out here to spend money on microtransactions to try and get them. Then when they get them, you go and nerf them and make them almost useless? Dude, how is this even legal, man? It just looks really shady. Anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Drop down in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Don't mess with me. I've got powerful friends.